Good afternoon everyone, Tayo Koki, born Koki Naya, Naya Koki, Ukrainian, comma Ivan Borishko, May 29, 1940, January 19, 2013, was a Japanese professional sumo wrestler. He became the 48th Yokozuna in 1961 at the age of 21 the youngest ever at the time. Koki won 32 tournament championships between 1960 and 1971, a record that was unequaled until 2014. His dominance was such that he won six tournaments in a row on two occasions, and he won 45 consecutive matches between 1968 and 1969 which at the time was the best winning streak since Futabyama in the 1930s. He is the only wrestler to win at least one championship every year of his top division career. He was a popular grand champion, especially amongst women and children. 2. After retiring from active competition, he became a sumo coach, although health problems meant he had limited success. When Koki died in January 2013 he was widely cited as the greatest sumo wrestler of the post-war period. Since then Hikuo, who regarded Tayo as a mentor, surpassed his record by winning his 33rd championship in January 2015. Click on the bell, Koki was born on the island of Sakhalin, Karafuto Prefecture to a Japanese mother Kyo Naya and an ethnic Ukrainian father Markian Barishko who had fled the Bolshevik Revolution. However, he is regarded as having come from Teshikaga, Hokkaido, where he moved to as a child after the Soviet Union took control of Sakhalin in 1945. While on a sumo tour to the Soviet Union in 1965 he tried to locate his father but without success. Tayo was the first of three great Yokozuna who all hailed from Hokkaido, the most northerly of the main islands of Japan and who among them dominated sumo during the 1960s, 1970s and 1980s. The others were Kitano Umi and Chiyano Fuji. He entered sumo in September 1956 joining Nishanasaki stable. He initially fought under his real name of Nyakoki. Upon promotion to the second Jurio division in May 1959 he was given the Shikona, ring name, of Tayo, meaning Great Peng. Peng is often translated to Phoenix. Tayo rapidly rose through the ranks after his debut in the top Makuchi division in January 1960. He was a runner-up in his first top division tournament and was awarded the Fighting Spirit Prize. At Sekirway Crank in November 1960 he won the first of his former record 32 tournament championships and earned promotion to Ozeki. Following two consecutive tournament victories, his second and third, he became a Yokozuna in September 1961 less than two years after his top division debut. Because the island of Sakhalin is, was claimed as a Japanese territory, Tayo is not considered the first non-Japanese Yokozuna. Let's subscribe to the channel at the time of his promotion Tayo was the youngest wrestler ever to have achieved sumo's highest rank of Yokozuna age 21 years and 3 months a record subsequently surpassed by Katano Umi who was one month younger. In a fashion which is considered to be exceptional for a newly promoted Yokozuna he also managed to win his first tournament subsequent to his promotion. He was promoted simultaneously with Kashiwato, and their rivalry created what became known as the Hakuo era. 12. Although Kashiwato was to win only five tournament championships, Tayo was to remark, there was Tayo because there was Kashiwato, there was Kashiwato because there was Tayo. 13. Outside of competition they had a genuine friendship, which continued until Kashiwato's death in 1996. 14. Original Tagata, handprint and signature, of sumo wrestler Yokozuna Tayo Tayo outperformed Kashiwato very quickly and during his tenure in Sumo's highest rank he was dominant, especially in the early part of his career. Until 2005, 
When the 68th Yokozuna Asashri bettered his record, he was the only post-war Yokozuna to have achieved six tournament victories consecutively, a feat he managed on two separate occasions. Eight of Tayo's championships were achieved with a perfect record of 15 wins and no losses, Zensho Yasho, a record that stood until 2013 when it was broken by Hikuo. He came back from withdrawing from or missing five straight tournaments to win the championship in September 1968 with a 14-1 record and embarked on a 45-bout winning streak. It was broken in March 1969 only after an incorrect decision by the judges, which caused such a furor that video replays were introduced after the incident. Tayo branched off from his old Heia and opened Tayo stable in December 1971. In February 1977, at the age of 36, he suffered a stroke, and his subsequent health problems may have played a part in him being passed over for the chairmanship of the Sumo Association. He had extensive rehabilitation sessions to get the left side of his body moving again. In general he did not manage to replicate his own wrestling success as a trainer, but he did produce his Atsu, a Sekiwaiku fought in 78 consecutive top division tournaments from 1979 to 1992. He had his Konriki Dohil Ira ceremony to mark his 60th birthday in 2000 although his restricted mobility meant he could not perform it in full. In May 2002 Tayo recruited the Russian wrestler Roo. He handed over control of his stable to his son-in-law, ex Sekiwake Take Toriki, in February 2003. Tayo reached the mandatory retirement age of 65 in May 2005 and became the curator of the Sumo Museum at the Ryagaku Kakujikn. He still maintained close contact with his old stable, inviting Yokozuna Hakuo to train there in May 2008. Tayo was awarded the medal with purple ribbon by the Japanese government in 2004. In November 2009, he was one of 15 people to receive the Person of Cultural Merit Award from the Japanese government becoming the first sumo wrestler to be so honored. After suffering a stroke at 36 in 1977, Tayo used a wheelchair in the last stage of his life. He died of heart failure in a Tokyo hospital on January 19, 2013 at the age of 72. His death was announced by the Japan Sumo Association. In its obituary, Nikon Sports named him the strongest Yokozuna in history. In February 2013, he posthumously became the second sumo wrestler to be commended with a People's Honor Award, with Yoshihide Suga calling him a national hero. After winning the March 2013 championship, Hakuo urged the crowd to get to their feet and honor Tayo's memory with a moment of silence. 29 he said that Tayo gave him regular advice, and told him that records are meant to be broken. Hakuo would indeed surpass Tayo's all-time championship record by winning his 33rd Yasho in January 2015, two years after Tayo's death. Fighting style Tayo was noted for his skill and power when he grabbed his opponent's mawashi or belt techniques known as Yatsu Sumo. His preferred grip was Hidari Yatsu, a right hand outside, left hand inside position. His most common winning move was Yori Kiri, a straightforward force out, which accounted for about 30% of his wins. 30. His most frequently used throws were Sakuanaj, the beltless scoop throw, and Unaj, the overarm throw. He was particularly diligent about training, and was known to invite every new member of the top division to train with him.